recently, there's this whole sensation going on. This sensation revolves around the concept of check your privilege, referring to white privilege in particular. This video is a response to those who are against the check your privilege movement, because I simply do not understand what white people are whining about. White people whine about check your privilege, put them in a box, because they feel that they have countless other characteristics as an individual or person other than just the color of their skin. I would like to point out to white people how this line of thinking has blind spots. Being put in a box is exactly how underprivileged non-white people are commonly being identified by white people. This is another way of saying being put in a box is an experience that has been shared by non-whites for centuries. And it still persists in the 21st century. Just think of the stereotypes that are still being perpetuated in the media as in ads, movies, music videos, even video games. Look at the roles that whites tend to play, uh, and what roles non-whites tend to play. Whites tend to play the dominant role. Whites tend to be portrayed as the standard or typical person. Non-whites, on the other hand, tend to be portrayed by staying within their box, by playing roles that serve the purpose of being a part of white people's lives. The roles being played by whites and non-whites perpetuated in the media has significant impact on how people perceive each other in real life, which results in inequality in educational and occupational opportunities. And I just told white people about a perspective that's not familiar to them, and please do not stomp your feet. Next, I would like to help white people to identify this feeling of hypersensitivity they have towards the Check Your White Privilege movement. A small proportion of white people just begin to experience this feeling of arbitrary harm experienced by non-whites. And by all of a sudden, white people start to complain and whine like a bunch of weak, hypersensitive, and overindulgent mentally ill patients, as if their white skin is so special that it deserves immunity from arbitrary harm. But when the same arbitrary harm is being inflicted on non-whites by whites, white people tend to think it does not even matter, as if non-white skin people deserve every sensation of such arbitrary pain. This asymmetrical structure of arbitrary harm is nothing but an irrational and immoral artificial social barrier based only on skin color. And due to this nonsense, a lot of non-whites, like my parents, do not even want to talk to white people. Um, I do have academic credential and recognition from a world-class um, university. Um, I defend white privilege as a form of aggressive power, where unearned and undeserved benefits are habitually or systematically allocated to individuals based on race, regardless of merit. The concept of race is a social construct based on the color of people's skin that has a significant biological basis. Race is a fictional characterization and artificial barrier such that social outcomes are, are arrived at through an artificial selection process. It follows that even if you white people want to be our allies to fight racism, your skin color still ensures you to have more social advantage than us for doing the same thing. So the question becomes, what is it about you with the light color skin that deserves this unearned benefit or advantage? As such, being our ally still does not eliminate your white privilege in any way. In addition, white people being hypersensitive towards the asymmetrical structure of arbitrary harm as I mentioned earlier is a strong sign that you have been too spoiled by your white privilege. Check your attitude. Finally, white people goes, check your white privilege is an extremely stupid idea and mere concept that only exists in the human mind. So stupid that only bookworms will support something so intangible. So non whites must go check our bigotry whenever we go check your privilege. My response to this line of thought is simple check your white denial. In the end, does it follow from my line of thinking that nothing white people have is any real? Absolutely. In the sense that skin color is an accurate indicator of almost nothing such that it is completely arbitrary. And white privilege does correspond to a bunch of human behaviors that exclude people from benefits based on race or skin color, and I actually find white privilege to be the most disturbing type of human behavior. 
So check your disturbing terrorist attitudes towards non-whites that excludes us from benefits you enjoy only because of your skin color. Like and share this video as well as comment below to support the official Check Your Privilege movement. We can then figure out what to do next. Thanks for watching.